Hello, hello. This is John Blaine at John Blaine Seven on Instagram. Hashtag Hair Samurai Supreme. And my blonde hair and I are here today to show you guys how to do what I call a traditional model's haircut. Um, most models have this haircut. Um, it, it why? Because it actually it's the most versatile for them. Um, to have when they're going on shoots, um, you know, it gives it a style, a uh, definite style, but they're able to style it, you know, the hairstyles or the client able to have their hair do whatever it needs to do. All right, so without going in too much, of blah, 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 let's go. All right, so I combed all back. I'll, I'll have to move aside, guys. So tilt her hair back a little bit and then look at the bridge of the nose. Take, make a part from front all the way back to the, the nape, I believe is that's called, right? Girl, I don't even know what the proper names everything is. Okay, so, come off to the side, as you can see that. So the hair curves, so your sectioning is going to be at a curve as well, like a uh, V for like vagina. <laughs> Cut. A V, like a vagina. Um, sectioning as you can see and I think most most fabulous hairstyles already know that all right so then I'm gonna ask our, our client to sit up straight because she's uh, for just to sit up straight because I can't stand hunch back uh, so you're gonna comb it like down all right so then so then here we go so oh if I give that if, if I break that gold chain it belongs to me what? okay so make sure you get all combed down really nice pressure and so I'm just going to trim a little bit there um, I've asked my client how much she wants off she says two inches I usually do one inch at in the wet in the wet part of it hold on you guys I, I can't cut well I'm like at that angle um, I cut one inch off while it's wet and then do the rest while it's dry so next section a larger vagina <laughs> party uh, down So then you comb everything down, make sure it's all combed down, no, no buckling at the root area. Um, I do my first incision in the middle. Like in the, in the middle, and I go out this way, then out that way. And what you'll probably notice is as you um, pull the sections down, it's the hair, uh, the top layers will probably be less and less, meaning that your first incision being an inch at the bottom, at the first section, will probably be less as you pull the hair down. So, so don't keep it that way. Follow your guideline, which is your first in incision at the bottom. All right, we're gonna do that all the way up until, we're gonna section up until from her ear to ear, and then I'm gonna do a different section. But I'm gonna stop here, and then I'll, and when I get there, I'll show you, otherwise it's just too much me doing all this. Hi, so I've cut uh, I did this vagina slices, <laughs> you know, the ding, 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 up to it becomes now from ear to ear, it's straight. That's the only straight thing you'll ever get from me. Um, okay, so then at this point, when it's all the front area, you're going, instead of doing a V shape, you're just going to go slice straight across. Okay, and you can just pull it over that way. Then I'll have the client turn her head the other way, okay? So I'm trying to do this so you can see. Tilt that way. Clients have a tendency to follow you, so you've got to keep on top of them. Meaning their head will start moving towards you. So you be, don't be afraid to say to like manhandle them. Okay, as you see in the front, as we're getting from the line from the back, it's much shorter. Because usually what happens is in haircuts is... Um, you know, the front gets broken easier because you're always playing with it, so then the back actually stays longer. So you're going to discover that when you do the pro appropriate haircut, you're going to see that. So it's not even all the way across. So just make sure you know, know that. Um, I think for a lot of you professionals, you, you know that already, but, I'm, but I'm, I'm here speaking to people who've never done it before. And, I, and this video is no, in no way me training you to tell you how to do it. Or, because you got to go, if you want to be hairstylist, you got to go get your edu formal education, say like a Sassoon or a Tony Guy or, or you know, um, uh, 
you know, what's that other place? <laughs> yeah, the other, the other Paul Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is just from, this is me just showing you how I do it and like how I've, I've altered how the rich, I've learned from Sassoon, the Sassoon way. I've, I've altered the way I've done it over the years to, to fit me and fit how I like to do things. So, um, again, none of my videos, uh, when it comes to this, I rarely ever do hair cutting videos because I don't want to teach you. This is, I'm not trying to be a teacher necessarily, but I'm just showing you. All right, so now you're going to just continue doing all that section, pulling everything down and cutting down there until, and then you're going to go, so when you're slightly over, I'm going to turn her head this way. Always, all your, your section on each side will go slightly over, you're going to pull all down, cut, cut down to the bottom, and then when you get over here, you do the same thing. Um, your final sectioning on that cut on that side will probably be on th like this where it's slightly over from the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going and then I'll turn, come back with showing you the A-line, which is the front area. Hi, so we're, hi, hi. So now we're back in the, we're in the front area now. Um, also disclaimer, I'm very casual um, when I do hair at my home because it's my home, but also um, because I did color prior to um, our, our cousin it here. Um, so I didn't want to ruin my good clothes and she ain't worth it. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so then now we've cut both sides. I've cut her. Um, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna comb all the hair to the front. We're gonna do universal part, meaning um, it's the middle part. So then that way, whether her hair falls up to the left or the right, it'll always be nice. But at this time, you also have an option if you have a client or someone who wants, or a hairstyle that's on the specific part, then do a part there and cut it to where it needs to go. But if you do a specific part on either side, knowing that when it falls, when the hair moves, sometimes you'll have a greater chance of unevenness when it falls on the wrong side. Okay. All right, so then middle part. Normally, you would do, uh, I'm gonna, well, I'm going to do a section like you would normally do, but I've, I'm so advanced now, I just grab everything. But, uh, okay, so then you just do a section, a slice, like to an angle that frames her face like that. Put everything in half, back behind the ear a little bit. Have them, have her tilt her ever so slightly. Um, that adjustment will be made by you as you do it. Now, look, I'm going to tell you this. If this is the first time you're doing an A-line, what's going to happen is you're probably going to, jank it up. It's just gonna happen. Um, <laughs> because it takes a couple of times to actually know the direction and just get it right like every practice. So again, I'm just showing you what I do and I'm telling you not to, if you've never cut hair before, don't try it unless you get formal training, okay? This is not an educational video. Chin up, stand up, step, step. Educational video to tell you how to do it, okay? Um, in a sense where I'm not a teacher and I'm not trying to promote myself as a teacher. I can read your ass, but <laughs> teach her no. Um, all right, so you bend it a little bit, so you see you get that A line. It's called an A line because it's like an A. Uh, well, at least it was called that when I was going to school. I don't know what they call it these days. You know, when I was going to school, you know, Fred Flintstone was driving in those cars with you know no <laughs> feet at the bottom, uh, but that's okay. All right. So as it gets longer, it's a little trickier, so you want to turn your your scissors downward and kind of pull down and go with the flow, like moving it down like that, okay? Your next line, next sectioning, should I say. We're too old for lines, honey. Um, <laughs> that was best in our teens. Um, all right, so. Now you've got your guideline underneath, meaning a guideline is that first incision you cut. So now you're just gonna follow it. And I do small little bits at a time, especially when you're um, a newbie to it. Um, or just learning this at, um, you know, at your, in your training. And sometimes because if the hair at the bottom is so long, 
you kind of don't want to cut that, get that eat, um, you don't want to cut it just yet as far as like blending it in. You want to just go down to that far. You'll do it when you pull, I'll pull, when I pull everything down, I'll do it. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side and then, and then come back, okay? Because I'm just talking way too much. Hi, so we're back. So I finished doing cutting on the other side and if you can see there is, oh my god, I don't know if you can see it, but it is an A-line where, you know, it both goes out like that. So in my day, it was called an A-line. Uh, I don't what they call, yeah, I don't know what they call these days. I don't pay attention. I've got my education. I don't need to keep on going, going back. Uh, all right, so then, then at this point, you, the crown area, you're gonna use, you're gonna start doing pie sections and you're going to layer the front. To do this is so that the hair in the back when it falls to the front won't eclipse and overlap the front, so it gets uneven. So this is how you do it, okay? So you just do a pie section. You pull the hair outwards. I think this is called 90 or 45. It's been so long. As you pull, you're gonna see the front hair start falling down, so that's okay. So it's all this that you really gotta snip off. Because this hair back here, you don't want it to overlap this hair because it will fall when it falls. So you slightly just cut ever so slightly. Let it fall. Go to your next section. You can continue going down this way or move over this way, whatever. As long as you do it to the whole thing, I'm, you know, I'm going to continue. I'm going to start on the other side. So as I'm pulling, I don't know if you can see her hair on, under, under the front layers of the hairline start falling down. So you can see, and this is also where you're going to see where it's uneven. See? So I, for, I somehow I missed that um, in my haircut. Well, I'm not going to now. When you when you layer and when you do these kinds of um, techniques, you're cross checking and you are uh, checking your own haircut as you're doing it. So that's a beauty of it too. So so see so that's longer. So snip it, but don't go. I I never snip to my fingers when I'm doing this particular layering on the head. Because here's the thing: is I cut the rest of it when it's dry. So leave yourself a margin of uh, possible uh, mistakes, ah, not wrong word, a margin of, uh, to work when it's dry, okay? I cut when it's dry because that's when you really see how the, what, how the hair's gonna lay, but also um, the length of it too. You know, when it's, when it's wet, it looks like it's longer. When it dries, everything gets pulled up. So I've never had an issue where a client was like, oh my God, you cut your hair, my hair too short. Because I followed these rules. And you know, that can be disastrous, you know, because women or men about their hair, especially the hair length, you know, especially when you've got a client trying to grow out hair, if you're cutting it all, all, all of it at, while it's wet, the lengthwise, you could be cutting it shorter than they want it. And then you can say goodbye to that client. Okay, so ear to ear, sectioning like in a pie front all you know that way pulling it out that's what we do the back i'm going to leave to do when it's dry so let me blow dry this out and then we'll come back